<laughs> DJ RR on a Friday. 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 All right, welcome to the Friday edition of your daily scrum. I'm professional scrum trainer Ryan Ripley. That's professional scrum trainer Todd Miller. Together we formed Agile for Humans, the premier Agile and Scrum and Kanban training organization on the planet. Hmm. We teach the scrum.org and pro Kanban catalog of courses. We wrote a book together, Fixing Your Scrum, Practical Solutions to Common Scrum Problems. We teach a lot of courses. Check it out in the description. All that stuff's available. Like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Leave your comments and questions below. Your questions turn into videos like <gasps> magic. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> All right, Todd, that's enough introductory stuff. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Why we just finished. Yeah. We, we've taught all long week, week on yeah, PAL EBM week. on Monday, mm -hmm. PAL E. That's a mm -hmm. leadership course Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we just wrapped up a PSM2 with an awesome group mm -hmm. of professional scrum masters who are taking that next step on their mastery journey. It's a really awesome group. We're just tired. Mm -hmm. But a good question came up during the class that yeah. we wanted to bring to video. Um how does commitment work in Scrum? What's your initial thought there, Mr. Miller? You know what I did, Ryan? A throwback Todd moment as I Googled commitment. And so you know how every time, uh, or sometimes you Google a word and there's kind of like two different definitions of it, right? Yeah. There's two different definitions of the word commitment. And I'm going to read more. them. Yeah. So the first definition of commitment, the state or quality of being dedicated to a cause, activity, et cetera. Uh, and some synonyms or similar words to that, dedication, devotion, allegiance, loyalty, faithfulness, right? That's the first definition. The second definition that comes up, by the way, is just, just Google right over here in front of me. An engagement or obligation that restricts freedom of action. And uh, synonyms there, responsibility, obligation, duty, tie, charge, liability. I view those things as very different. I view those two definitions as very, very different. The difference between dedication and responsibility is great, right? And so why, why am I saying this? Because I think that there is a scrum value commitment. And then there are commitments within the scrum framework in and of itself as it applies to the artifacts. I view the scrum value commitment as definition one. I view the definitions for the uh, or the commitments to the artifacts as definition two. Love it. I think that's that's a perfect way to say it. Right. Um, what we'd never commit to, though, I want to create that exclusion list early while people are still mm -hmm. watching. Mm -hmm. We never commit to scope. Can't. We do not commit to sprint backlog items. That is not part of this discussion. So when Todd's talking about a commitment as far as the values in that first definition, that's to, to bringing your best self forward as a teammate. That's a commitment uh, to the goals of your team, like the sprint goal or product mm -hmm. goal, for example. Um, it's a commitment to our, our definition of done. Like that's our quality commitment mm -hmm. when it comes to the increment. Like it, it's, it's, it's like dedication, devotion, it's dedication, allegiance, devotion, loyalty, allegiance, faith. Yeah. all those team things. Now, when it yeah. comes to the, the artifacts, mm -hmm. the commitment takes on the constraint. The definition of done constrains the way we work in a positive Restricts way. Restricts freedom of action, right? Of yeah. that second definition. Yeah. I'm Restricts, sorry. Could tell me more. I no, you're like doing great. Restricts freedom here. of action, creates a good constraint. Mm -hmm. um, the sprint goal creates a great constraint in our mm -hmm. sprint, right? We don't do anything that puts that in jeopardy. We stay within that area, but the scope is fluid so that we can meet that goal in the most effective and efficient way possible. Yeah. Same it's a responsibility, with, an obligation, exactly. a duty, a tie, a charge, right? Yeah. So I think that's how commitment works in Scrum. It works on those two levels, right? Those two definitions apply. Definition one is is on our interactions as a teammate. Definition two is to the um, the commitments on the artifacts. Mm -hmm. So that would be the sprint goal to the sprint backlog, the product goal to the product backlog, and definition of done to the increment. So we're working on two levels here, but never, ever, ever to scope. Yeah. I completely agree. And, you know, just from my, uh, I just thought I'd mention here from an empirical perspective, these commitments, we're talking about sprint goal, product goal, definition of done, or the three commitments in the scrim guys that stands right now. From an empiricism perspective, there are going to be times where we're going to learn things about them and have to adapt, right? Uh, maybe the goal needs adapted. Maybe the goal needs uh, maybe retired and we need a new one. That is completely fine. That is empiricism at work, but we need longer term objectives. We need these commitments from a quality perspective. 
And so um, the empiricism at work would be achieving, retiring, changing, or moving these targets, um, but doing it in a way that makes sense, right? Love it. All right. Thanks for sticking around on this video. Let us know in the comments what you think about commitment. Do we get it right? Do we get it wrong? Do you have further questions that we could help clarify? Let us know in the comments. Your questions turn into videos. Uh, like and subscribe so you don't miss it. When you, when you ask a question and we turn it into a video, if you like and subscribe, you'll get notified. That's what we want. That's what you want. Check out the socials. We also post every episode on Twitter, most of them on LinkedIn and some of them on Facebook. Some videos are about to pop up. Be sure to check those out as well. The algorithm thinks you'll like them. We do too. For Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. Go forward, do some great scrum things. This time of year, we're getting towards the end of 2021. Hope you're spending time with uh, family, friends, and loved ones. Hope you get some time to relax. We'll be around next week. Uh, until then, scrum on. <laughs>